So this is a mantis composter. And uh, one of the problems I've been having is this. As you can see, this gear is completely broken. And I've been through two of them. As soon as this compost gets to about 25% full, it's too heavy for that gear. And I've talked to Mantis about it, and they don't seem to want to do anything about it. I guess they figure that uh, you just wait for the warranty to run out, and then they don't have to worry about it anymore. But if you're still under warranty, you can order a new gear, and then I have a fix for this. All right, so if you contact Mantis, tell them the gear is broke. It's still under warranty. They'll send you a new one. Problem is, it's the exact same gear. Same problem. Made out of the same cheap material that breaks every time you try to uh, use it. So, my plan... Take this, because this is an inch, and I'm going to add 16th of an inch steel, which is right here. And uh, we're going to put a wafer of steel on the front and the back of this gear. Now the problem is, we have to cut it. to match so all I did was take this set it over top trace out the pattern make two of them because I'm going to need one for the front and one for the, one for the back then I uh, drew a line between each end of each uh, gear so I can get the exact center because I'm going to have to cut out this hole here and here so Let's get this started. Nice. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just got to be able to cover the edges. So now I got to do one more. All right. I got two of them made with the holes drilled. Now what I need to do, take a quarter inch bit. So I don't know if you can see, but inside there, there's a little circle where you can do this, uh, drill these holes. I'm gonna make sure I get it right on it. Oh, some of them.
So now, take this after you drilled the holes all the way around. They don't have to be exact, but they're gonna have to be close. Set it on top of your steel and then use those holes to mark where you're gonna drill. Then we have a quarter inch. Let's clamp this down. Be able to get a few of these. All right, so one side of these need to be okay. One side of these we're going to have countersink screws, so we need to countersink these a little bit. So now, this goes, the one without the countersinks go on the bottom. There's the one with the countersinks that goes on top. All right, so here's what we got. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. It's gotta have enough room for that uh, shaft to go in. And then your carter pin locks in right there. So that's the way it looks. Now what we got to do is dry fit it to make sure we don't have to shave off the ends of these bolts. So let's check that out. So one thing about this is that is 16th of an inch steel. I don't know what gauge that is. Um, these are two inch by quarter inch by 20 thread bolts. Um, 20 thread quarter inch nuts and lock washers and um, had to countersink them so that they sit flush. They need to sit as flat as possible because this rides right up against the composting opening where the gear goes. So that's, that's pretty much what it's made of. Yeah, you can see it's not perfect, but uh, as long as I can get it in there, I'm gonna get it around there. And it's, the whole idea is to support these gear ends because that's what breaks. This whole part portion snaps off, which then breaks the shaft and everything else. So you need to make sure you support these. So that's the whole idea of this metal extruding out just a little bit past the gear should take the bulk of the uh, pressure. We'll see when we get it installed. Ah, okay, so there it is done in place Seems to crank pretty easy even though this is pretty full Got to move it away from This leaf bin but uh, A couple things I found out Which I'm having a problem with right now is these screws get stuck on this end because maybe I didn't take it completely apart I just separated that section and then took off that top put it forward so all the weight was on the barrel I think I might have bent the frame a little bit but to be sure you should take apart the whole thing that way the gear goes back in, everything goes back together right. You can pull it forward and then it'll lay on the barrel. And that'll support all the weight while you take it apart. But it works good. Got any comments, questions, give me a holler.